Let's get into real estate. That's the, the big breadwinner. This is our number one focus. We have a lot going on in real estate closings today. What's going on in, in your world? Let's have a morning meeting. This is the Dave and RJ meeting today. Well, I know that we had, um, we signed for a closing. I think we're going to net around uh, 50K on this one um, wholesale deal, which is good. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing that that is, that is the play right now in our market is to, um, to get these properties and do light rehabs and then put it right back on the market. Uh, you know, we're, we're part of a Facebook group, the cream. And every time somebody posts something in these target zones, just a slew of emails follow the comments, you know, like everybody wants to, to get into this, um, flipping light, light rehab flipping. And as they should, you know, make, make more money where you can. And, and so we've got a closing here. Well, it did close. Um, I think we were trying to get it to close um, next year for some tax purposes, but the, the lady wanted to move in um, before the first. I think something with, uh, you know, moving, it's hard to move right now, you know, like especially in this time where holidays are gone, it's cold. Um, so that's happening. I think we have another couple closings too, just some small wholesale deals. Um, I'm super excited about this big refinance that we're doing, you know? Yes. 15 uh, properties. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, we have it in front of a bank. Yeah. Um, so, you know, um, those are the big rips, everybody. I mean, the wholesales and wholesales are great, but the refis are great, especially when you put the 30 year money on stuff. You know, I think the best trade out there, we mess around with stocks. We mess around with, you know, what else do we mess around with? How do we, <laughs> we got a few things going, don't we? Um, but the best play is, is the cash out refi um, with 30 year money when you can get a safe LTV. You know, when I say safe LTV means we're not over leveraging ourselves, right? We're not overextending ourselves, borrowing a hundred cents on the dollar. No, we're borrowing 70, 75 cents on the dollar. These are good properties in good areas. And um, when we do that, when we're all into these deals, all in being purchased and rehab for say 65, I think our cumulative all in is around less than 65. Um, but we're able to, you know, when you do this on a package of properties, you're able to pull out a sizable amount of capital and it's all tax free. It's uh, a loan, it's not income. So, I mean, these are the big rips. These are the several hundred thousand dollar rips that really go a long way but then you're we're putting better financing on the properties so you know we got that good 30 year money lined up and um that's what we've been working at and, and trying to do and um so yeah we are going to get more properties to refinance as well but that is happening as well so we should look to hear from that particular bank today and then also we're working on a line of credit. So we have some free and clear property. And RJ, why don't you get into why we are going after a line of credit against the free and clear stuff? I mean, isn't that the American dream to be debt free, to just have no debt, to own things free and clear? I mean, maybe our grandparents thought that way, but why would we be so eager to, to get debt? Yeah, the, there's, there's, there's power in utilizing leverage right now. And we've never seen interest rates be this low and when you have um a vehicle to place you know debt which is real estate debt that pays you right um then by all means why will not why not take advantage of that i think you're you, uh, you know we came from the generation where um uh debt was looked upon as this like you know you're you're, you're going into debt and you're you're going to be broke and poor um, what we found is that that's just a, it's a limited belief, you know, it's old thinking. Um, and, and nowadays we, you know, we have millions of dollars, millions of dollars. We're millions of dollars in debt, but it's a good debt, you know, to our private lenders. I think we have upwards of, you know, $15 million that we, that we have on the streets or something, something like that. Um, Oh, it's a uh, fourteen million. It's fourteen million six hundred and seventy-two dollars and eighty-eight cents. I know the portfolio like the back of my hands here, folks. <laughs> no, so you know what we're doing is we're um, pulling this line of credit so that we can um, use it to have uh, 
uh, cheap money, you know, yeah. and um, when you lower your cost of money, then you lower your Expense. um, expenses. Yep. And you can actually move a little bit quicker. Um, plus it also creates um, some liquidity, uh, good liquidity when you're, when you're doing these refinances. Um, being a good steward of money is something that we've learned and being yes. a good steward of debt is going to make you wealthy. Yes. And if you can, if you can stay disciplined, which, uh, which you and I have been doing, um, then it just so happens that money likes that and you attract more money. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, um, for those of you that were on our Christmas video, I did send you your copies of the master key system, I highly encourage everyone to grab your copy so we can continue to reference the master key system. It is the book that I read every single day. And it is basically teaching me that life is an inner game, uh, even more so than it's an outer game. The way we talk to ourselves, the way we feel on a day-to-day -day basis, and believe me, I'm not trying to be all hokey here and this and that, I'm just letting you know what's real. The way you, uh, the way we all um, feel about ourselves is a direct reflection of the way we, we kind of treat other people. And um, so, yeah, money is money attracts money. That's for sure. And when we have the ability to refinance properties, put better debt than is, that's currently existing on these properties, put better debt in place, but then also have some free and clear properties where we can get a line of credit and then kind of use that line of credit to maybe replace some of the uh, private lending money we've been borrowing, paying higher interest rates. If we could lower the cost of money and move a little bit more fluidly, of course we're gonna do that. This is just being a good steward of money, you know? Um, not only were our parents, you know, baby boomers conditioned that, you know, debt is a bad thing, or maybe, maybe not all baby boomers, but certainly the, the environments we've grown up in, uh, you know, money's the root of all evil or money doesn't grow on trees type of mentality. But I think a lot of, of millennials also uh, feel that way. Um, and that's contradictory to what a lot of people think. They think, oh, millennials don't work and all they want to do is rack up debt. Well, I don't think that's the truth, 100%. A lot of millennials witnessed the uh, previous housing crisis back in 2008. And a lot of millennials have and had the mentality of, I don't want to own anything. I just want to rent. And hence the birth of things like Airbnb and Uber and, and things like that came from a um, ideology, from a paradigm of not wanting to own anything, but I want to be as fluid as humanly possible. Um, but I think a lot of millennials do want to own houses. I mean, everybody wants to own houses right now. The market's piping hot. And as uh, RJ was just kind of saying, um, the best play on the street right now, we feel is wholetailing, right? And that is where we're buying a property off market, get it cleaned up, fixed up, putting it back out on the market and selling it as a flip. It's a great time to flip properties, but it's also a great time to be buying and holding and taking advantage of the low interest long-term debt that is available to us. Historically low interest rates, so we wanna gobble up as, as much as the, of that as we possibly can. Um, RJ, what else do you have on the agenda today? And, uh, let's, let's get ready to go crush it today. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're, uh, excited to be here again. Um, our buddy Eric is traveling, so, um, he's going to try and make it sometime this week, but, um, this is, uh, you know, the, the last week of December, a lot of our friends are, uh, taking some last minute, uh, trips. And so Eric, if you're watching this, um, safe travels. Have fun with your family. Be present. Um, if you want to pop on the show, just let us know. And um, if you, you know, we're going to be continually doing these um, in the mornings. If you guys have your questions, make sure you put them in the comments. We're talking about, um, you know, real estate. Dave and I have a portfolio of about 130 homes, um, and we're continually adding to that. We're talking about. Um, we're probably going to pick up on seller acquisitions here. Um, Tomorrow, we're going to talk about uh, you know what what it is that we do. Um, Dave has uh, some really unique strategies in that, and he can kind of elaborate. So, if you have any questions about that, bring them tomorrow, and we can talk about it. Um, but you know, one of the newest things that we're kind of excited about is Dave is starting his TikTok channel. 
Oh, let's no. go. Let's go. On, I'm getting on TikTok, get on TikTok, everybody. TikTok's Follow me on TikTok. I have not made my first video yet, but I'm highly inspired and I have a lot of ideas and anything I put my name on and do, I want it to be good and then feel good about it. So I will be launching my first video this week. Get in there. Get in before the getting's good. You got to be one of the original people. Let me see how many followers I have right now. I think I am up to 10. But while I look this up, we had a couple really awesome viewers here today, RJ. Mm. So I don't even know how to work TikTok. I'm still at 10 followers. So if you want to help me break through my resistance level of 10, by all means, follow me on TikTok at the real Dave P. But we had some really awesome people on here today. We had Missy McCall and we had Frank Cava, just to name a few. And if you're still watching, we would love to have you a part of the show. By all means, just text us and we'll get you on here. And we can talk about real estate. We can talk about finance. We can talk about what plays that we are all making so we can do this thing together, create our own economy and, um, you know, be better together is the motto, is the phrase. So we are going to get rocking and rolling. Let's get some houses flipping, get some houses refining. Let's get some stimulus cashing. Let's get some whatever's going on here today. But um, just know you do have a voice. Don't be afraid to use it. We are in this thing together. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we will see you on the next video.